forgot yet. Oh, I needed that. Oh yeah, now I'm ready to take on the wasteland. Man, patrol in the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. But with the NCR service rifle, makes it a little bit more bearable. Now, for those of you who don't know, I'm a big Fallout nerd. I know, you know, Brandon, being a nerd, who would have seen that coming? Whatever. But I always thought that the service rifle from Fallout New Vegas was pretty neat. And the timing couldn't have worked out any better because as soon as we finished this thing up, of course, Amazon Prime dropped the new Fallout TV show, which reignited a lot of people's energy and excitement for the games. But this isn't just your standard AR-15 with wood furniture. There's a lot of attention to detail that went into making this clone correct, but you know what? Enough talking. Let's go shoot the damn thing. Yeah, we is out of bullets. What's going on, nerds and virgins? I'm just kidding, although you probably were when you first started playing Fallout, in which case you recognize this immediately. This is the Fallout NCR service rifle. The NCR you might remember as the stuck up good guys from New Vegas. That didn't stop me from doing heinous shit to them, which I kind of feel bad about because they're, I guess, the closest thing the game has to a good guy per se. But then I remember NCR stands for New California Republic, and then I feel a little bit better. Degenerates like you belong on a cross. This is a faithful clone of that weapon from the game with a lot of really cool little details to it. It's not just an AR-15 with wood furniture, although that's, I'll be honest with you, Chief, that's, that's most of what it is. But there's a lot of little things that make it unique and things that I think are worth talking about. So first off, yes, it is an AR slash, uh, you know, M4, M16 platform weapon system uh, with 20 round magazines as per the game, chambered in 5.56. You might think, oh, well, 20 round magazines, that's kind of lame. But to be fair, it's twice as much as you can really own in California currently, so. Them boys will take their wins when they can get them. Yes, just like the game, ours is semi-auto. Ish. Look, I wanted this gun to be really cool, so we took some creative liberties with it. What, do you have a problem with that? I detect a little communism. So while this gun is not full auto, it does have a three round burst mechanism. So I figured it fits with the theme, you know, a service rifle, very M16 looking. I figured three round burst, kind of, it, it, it fits. So the three round burst mechanism on this setup in particular, you've got your selector, which goes from safe to fire, which is where you have semi-auto, but where we would normally have the full auto on the third setting, instead of full auto, we have the ratchet on the inside, which then acts as basically a limiter. So instead of just going and going as long as I hold down the trigger, it's got a mechanism inside that limits it to three rounds. So even though I hold down the trigger, only three rounds come out. And it only does increments of three rounds, never one or two, depending on how it's feeling that day or what time of day it is, or maybe it's a day that ends in Y, or maybe you had pudding for bright, I don't know. See, not always great. So let's take a look at what exactly that entails. You know, I'm not gonna do a full breakdown on this. You know, it's an AR-15, we've done AR videos before. I've broken down how the operating system and whatnot works. But let's go ahead and pull this apart. Pop the pin here. Get this magazine out of the way. So let's go from safe to semi to, <laughs> giggle. So let's go from safe to semi. And when we pull this trigger, one round is fired, it resets. I have to let off the trigger to then reset the hammer to where the, the hammer is now able to be fired again. Pull the trigger, hammer goes forward. Now let's flip over to first setting. So I pull the trigger, hammer goes forward, put it back, 
And now whenever I trip this sear, the, the what would be an auto sear, when I trip that and push that forward, the hammer is then released again. All right, so that's our second round fired. Back again, hit it again, third round fired. But now when I do this one more time, the trip or the sear no longer trips and engages the hammer. That's because the burst mechanism down underneath the hammer has caught it. So I have to let off the trigger to be able to then fire again. Not a big fan of three round burst, to be honest with you. Uh, a, it's a little unpredictable as to whether or not it works. Sometimes the, the, the mechanism doesn't quite work 100% of the time. 60% of the time, it works every time. But honestly, I just prefer using, you know, a little bit of trigger discipline and, and you know, being able to just use full auto and decide to let off the trigger whenever I want. I, I think that's it's usually kind of the better way to go on that. So unfortunately, in real life, you can't get a stim pack, but you can get something that rhymes with it. That's right, Tack Pack. Tack Pack is a monthly tactical subscription service that gives you all sorts of cool goodies like tactical swag, tin coated AR BCGs, that was heavy, Reptilia pistol grips, rats tourniquets, tactical pistol carriers, Kobe. It was expensive. And if you sign up now using code AKGUY, you can get a free bonus box of extra tactical goodness. Links are down in the description and in the pinned comment. Thanks to TACPAC for sponsoring this video. Back to the service rifle. ADD break. So as you probably know as a Fallout fan, this thing is pretty ass at penetrating Deathclaw armor. The question we're going to answer today is, how is it at penetrating White Claws? And in honor of the three round burst feature, we're going to have three cans. Is the third round even gonna hit a can? No, no, most likely not, but I don't know. He doesn't even know how to use the three cans. POV, you think a Nuka-Cola boy can get with a Sunset Sarsaparilla gal? In three, two, one. It's the neat part about three round burst is that sometimes it just fucking decides to not do that. Straight up, I'm not, not changing the selector setting, anything at all. It just, whatever, dude. All right, even though it was only one round, we had the Chad Superior 20 inch barrel length. So uh, yeah, it had no problem ripping through all three cans and depositing a lot of muzzle energy. These actually, they all came forward pretty much. This is the base of one of those cans, just completely flattened from the amount, amount of energy being just deposited inside the cans. It's pretty gnarly. Zero out of 10, would not recommend to a friend. War. War never changes. And neither does the fact that you can get your start in gunsmithing and weapons technology at sdi.edu. Links in the description and in the pinned comment. But let's look at all the things that makes this different from its standard AR-15 and what makes this Fallout service rifle. Starting with the most obvious, the wood furniture, this was done by Black Guns Wood, and it looks incredible. It actually feels really good, too. As you might know, I've got a bit of an affinity, you know, for, for wood furniture on guns, so this feels right at home for me. You might also notice our muzzle brake here at the end, not exactly your standard A2 birdcage. So just like the game, this muzzle device, instead of being a flash hider, um, doesn't have any holes or vents of any kind. Um, it doesn't do anything. It, it does absolutely nothing but it is 100% correct to the one in the game. Was it for aesthetic reasons, or was it just the fact that the devs didn't add any of the holes, or they didn't care, or they didn't know what it was for? Moving on. So this lower actually has all the correct markings, and I, it's down to some really cool details. This was done for us by Bad Attitude Department, and you've got, if you look here on the lower, property of US government service rifle. 5.56 cal, thanks Fallout. Serial number, FNV, in honor of the best fallout, New Vegas. 047074. Aw, that's kind of a cool touch. But it even gets more autistic in some of the details on this thing. Long Branch Arsenal, Ontario, USA Territory. That's right, Canada, if the United States has to have a crisis on the southern border, so do you. We're coming for that ass. Those are all joke novelty markings, of course. The actual markings are on the inside of the trigger well, so you know what, this is all, of course, ATF compliant and things. But it's really neat, because it is paired, I believe, with a Canadian C7 upper as well. So there's a lot of different unique features about it, even down to <laughs> the really anemic charging handle up top. Like that is, I mean, that is straight as, like impossible to even attempt just from, from one side, one finger there. That is mandatory uh, whole hand involvement. 
But you know, while I'm not a big cosplayer or anything like that, I do think that this does look good. It's got a natural patina to it, some of which I added to earlier in this video. Fuck! Ah! Oh God! But it's just really neat. It, it goes above, like I said, just above just wood furniture on an AR-15. I, I think it's, it's a really cool uh, bit of life imitating art, I think, in that way. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Fallout Service Rifle. Clone correct with some specific enhancements. This thing is super neat. Again, thank you to the people who helped make this thing possible. It's a sweet build and it just looks really cool hanging up on the wall. Cause you know, us real ones, we get it. Once again, we appreciate Matt for letting us use the Desperado Ranch. I appreciate the IRS for absolutely nothing. And I appreciate you guys for staying all the way to the end. Be sure to make sure you're still subscribed and that YouTube hasn't randomly decided to unsubscribe you. Leave a comment on your favorite Fallout game. And if you think that the TV show actually did it justice, I appreciate you guys staying all the way to the end. And I will see you sexy YouTube mother lovers in the next video. Go put some Neosporin on that fucking knee. Fuel is my obsession to make the perfect weapon like us put things right to the top. But I can't let you can stop, can stop, can stop, can stop, can stop, can stop. So if you're a Fallout fan, as you probably know, uh, this thing's pretty ass at penetrating dead claw, death claw, fuck me. Oh God! <laughs> Did you mean to do that? No! Piece of shit! Oh, I just ate shit so fucking hard. <laughs> Ow! God. I'm just gonna sit here for a minute.